This next design is another quick and easy one. Uh, you want to make sure your background color is completely dry before you apply this striping tape as a masking technique so that you don't hurt your design or the nail actually when you're pulling off the tape. All we're doing with the striping tape here is applying different lines to act as a masking so that I can apply a matte coat. So to save time, I've already applied my ma uh, masks in the directions I want. So I'm going to apply my last mask for you on camera. And you're just looking for a little hatch design. Um, make sure they're stuck really well. And then all you have to do is come in with your matte coat and quickly get the entire nail coated. The goal is you want to start pulling these off before this starts to completely dry just to get the best effect. And when you're removing them, you want to try and remove them in the opposite order that you placed them. So starting with the last one you placed, start pulling them off. Um, you don't want to pull a bottom row and knock off a top row, risk ruining your design. And as you can see, the matte coat is making little puffy pockets that kind of look like a really cool quilted nail. A great way to embellish this for a little extra money, you could throw some rhinestones or some black stones in the cross marks between each line. And for obvious reasons, you don't want to top coat this nail because you'll ruin the matte coat effect. Very quick, very easy.